knitting i cords on a loom. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Did you know we can make i cords without using knitting needles? We are going to dive into spool knitting. This is also called corking, French knitting, or tomboy knitting. It's a great option for kids or anyone without knitting experience who want to quickly make some pretty cool knitting projects like making knitted jewelry, pencil cozies, toys, decorations, and even brains. If you'd like to learn how to knit an I-cord on regular knitting needles, make sure to check out my other video, and the link is in the description below. So for our materials, we are using yarn in any weight. Mine here is bulky and a spool loom device. It includes a loom hook and a tapestry needle and we're using some scissors too. I have a link in the description below on where you can purchase this exact jumbo spool knitter by Boy Online. Now after I show you how easy it is to knit up I-cords on this little plastic loom, I'm also going to show you another optional device as well as a side-by-side -side comparison to see how this stacks up against traditional knitting in regards to quality and speed. So to begin, we simply place our yarn down the center of the loom and make sure to hold on to the yarn tail securely throughout this entire process. Oh, and if you are excited to learn how to knit on a loom, please hit like and make sure to subscribe. So for the loom, we take the yarn that is between these two pegs here. Next, we wrap it around the front of the one on the left and we're bringing it around clockwise and then behind the next peg. So we made one little loop there. Now again, wrap it around the front going clockwise and then behind the next peg. Once we've wrapped all five pegs in this way, we're going to do it exactly the same way until all five pegs have two yarn wraps each. Okay, now using our hook, we simply take the bottom loop here and we're going to bring it over the top loop and then let it go. Again, the bottom loop here is picked up by our hook. We bring it over the top and off. Now let's go all the way around until all five pegs have just one loop remaining. Okay, and now it's wrap time again. We just wrap around all five pegs and we use the hook on all five pegs and keep repeating this process until your I cord is the length you desire. Once you're ready to remove your I cord, we're going to be doing in knitting what's called binding off. And first we simply cut our yarn we're going to thread it through our tapestry needle. Now we're taking the needle and the yarn is going to be thread through this first loop, bring it up and off. And then we continue doing it all the way around until all five loops are removed from the loom. Now you may wish to weave in your ends a little bit more securely too, depending on your project. Oh, so I also have this other little nifty device. It supposedly makes I cords simply by cranking a handle. So I have a video coming very soon and we're going to see, does this thing really work? So make sure you don't miss it and subscribe to Studio Knit on YouTube. Okay, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. After knitting on the traditional double pointed knitting needles or DPNs for exactly 10 minutes, I also used the spool knitter for exactly 10 minutes so that we could compare the I cords of each. Ooh, okay, so the knitting needle version clearly wins for length. So let's see, the spool knitter gave us a little over six inches in length. And the traditional version here is about nine inches. So on length, our old fashioned way wins. 
And here you'll see that the regular I-cord is fairly flat in shape on the sides, whereas the spool version is much rounder all the way around, and it also looks like it has a bit of a looser weave. So whether it's knitting on knitting needles or with a crafty little gadget, I hope you are inspired to knit up some I-cords. And next time we're going to find out if you really can make an I-cord simply by turning a crank. So make sure to like up this video, subscribe, and check out all of my other knitting projects that we can make with iCords. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!